point out, I don't have to point out which one she is. <laughs> but Trisha's in the front row. Um, what, what is the name of your color today? Is that a lavender or what is it? This is, uh, let's see, this is, that's a, it's in the lavender family. It's, it's in the lavender family. It's magenta-y. It's but, magenta yeah, It's got the headband, oh, yeah. the necklace, the tank top, the cardigan, and the bracelet, all coordinated. Uh, her and buddies, the eyeshadow. And, and her eyeshadow. And, and her buddies are back with her today, and our buddy is also back with us. <laughs> this is senior fashion editor of Marie Claire magazine. She's also one of our great contributors here at our show. Uh, this is Zana Roberts Rossi. Thank you. So, now, Zana. You know, this makes her intensely happy. There's nothing wrong with people that like to be coordinated, is there? Absolutely not. You know what, and especially, I'm so impressed with the way you coordinate your closet, and I'm all for coordinating <laughs> closets. However, taking it out onto the street and every day from head to toe may not be quite right. Are you willing to, like, mix it up a little bit? I mean, you know, every once in a while. <laughs> Because yeah. you have such a pretty wardrobe, and it would yeah. be like a new wardrobe if you wore different things with different You have things. so many more outfits in there if you completely just mix them together. <laughs> oh, I know. Um, You're OCD, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Look how uncomfortable she is. She's like, I know. <laughs> Pink and blue? What? <laughs> Pink and blue? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so mixervention. Mixervention. <laughs> give, like us, give us some general rules about mixing and matching. Well, mixing and matching, there's three things we can mix and match within when it comes to fashion. Number one, colors, mm -hmm. number two, your actual style, and number three, prints. I think all three are things that women have problems with. So we're mm. going to go through each one, show you good examples, not so great examples, and how to do it. Okay. Where do you want to start? We're going to start with colors. I mean, we have to start with colors after Please seeing start this with fabulousness. Colors. <laughs> this is for you, Tricia. So first off, we have a picture here of a not so great way to wear colors. I mean, there is no tone here. It's one look, head to toe, she's like yeah. giant Twizzler. You know, the, the accessories are the same. The belt, the shoe, the jacket, the pants, and the top are all the same tone of red. I mean, it sounds obvious, but just mixing different tones of red together would work so much better. Gotcha. So here's somebody who did it really well. And this is about color blocking. And this is a really good lesson in color blocking, because sometimes people get very confused about what two colors to put together. Selma here did it so well with the yellow and the blue. Yeah. Now, the reason these two work together, if we take a little look at this color wheel, know your primary colors. Obviously, you have yellow, you have blue, and you have red. You can wear any color that falls in between two primaries. For example, you could wear this orange with this red because it falls between here and here, and this color is made up of this and this. I gotcha. So the, the blue, like Selma's wearing there, mm -hmm. could go to the yellow because it because lies it falls in, between in between blue and yellow. Very cool. You see, we just will send you home with the Roy G. Biv wheel. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I don't need that. It is my closet. <laughs> just remember your primaries. That's Great. fine. Okay, next up we have prints. Now, people often <laughs> compare the wrong prints together. So here we have an example of wrong. We have two prints that are from very different families. Obviously, we have the jungle as the skirt here, and then yeah. we have this English country garden on the top. They do not work together. They're very bold. They compete for attention. I was going to say, is it because they're both kind of, you know, loud? They, yeah, they, they're, exactly. they're both saying something very strong, exactly. and they're talking at the same time. That's bickering. That's, <coughs> That's full bickering. on argument, right? All right, well, then let's, <laughs> let's, let's talk about the, uh, the so chatty chatty, then. The chatty chatty, which works perfectly well together. We have this great little polka dot. Now, a polka dot is a really good place to start when you're trying to mix prints. Because it's very subtle. Exactly. It's small, it's repetitive, it's very uniform. A stripe is the same way. Mm -hmm. So that, with this gorgeous little floral here, which is, really sits with the femininity of the skirt and the polka dot and the silhouette, work together really well. And now, what, now, what if they were in the same color family, but it was a mixing of a print with mm. a smaller print? Wow, I'm point. breaking your brain, aren't I? I, I would be I'm up for it. She I seems a little more warm to that idea than the mixing of the colors. Yeah, the mixing of the colors, we're going to have to break it's that just down. Breaking <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, so next up we have the styles. 
Now, often people wear just one style and it gets extremely costumey, as we see here. I mean, it's a beautiful dress. That's and it, a gorgeous it looks, dress. It looks yeah. stunning, but everything is too matchy-patchy. It looks straight out of The Great Gatsby and you don't want to look like you're wearing a costume. See, we have the handbag, which is obviously the little Art Deco moment, the T-bar shoes, the dress, the little intricate bracelet, the hair, all very 20s. Now, this just needs something modern adding to it. A little something edgy to give it a little modern update. Exactly. Yeah. And the modern update is right here with Emma Watson. You know, she's wearing something that's very feminine, this gorgeous circle skirt, but then she's mixed it with this rock and roll vibe. So we've got the jacket, which that's is rock very and roll. Cute. I love that look. The hair, the which is cute, isn't it? And I think it? it works on anybody. They anybody. Can, they can take a little something rough and put it with a little something feminine. Try Could to. You, yes, that's what you did today, <laughs> actually. Channeling Emma. You're wearing quite a good example. <laughs> Could you please try and break Trisha of a habit? Do something yeah. a little, give her a little shush. Come on, Trisha. Trisha, get up there. Come on, we're going to try. <laughs> Don't panic. And breathe. And breathe. Okay, come on around here. Come stand here. You can do it, Trisha. <sighs> She's actually shaking. Okay. Girls, you, you now, might have to catch her. We're going to start by de-layering okay. some of these incredibly matching accessories. So, first the headband has to go. Oh! Sorry. oh. No more Barbie. Painful. All right, let's lose the bracelet as well, please, my dear. Oh, Oops, sorry. Oh, and you lost an earring. And you lost an earring, but you know what? It matched as well, so that's out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then can we please take off the cardigan and the bracelet? Why don't you just come Whoa. here naked, Trisha? <laughs> yeah. I know. Da, da, da. I know, right? <laughs> Thank you, honey. Right. Now, I, we're going to mix wow, two styles Trisha, here. Wow, Trisha, you look good. Hi, now, basically, we're just going to take this from a very ladylike Barbie look into... We're going to call more of a rock and roll oh Barbie. God, I love the jacket. <laughs> I love that jacket. Trisha, jacket. steal that from us. It's cute. <laughs> oh Look how we sexy go. that is already. And then let's Ooh. change the very ladylike pump up to something with a bit more I of an edge. The there we Dang. go. Dang. Lean on me. Let's Those see shoes can... are secret weapons. Like you could kill <laughs> somebody with them. Woo. Wow. There you go. Trisha's got some gams going on. She has. Oh, my. She... Yes. Girl, yeah, girl, you look good. No more accessories that match. Let's go for some solid metals oh, yeah. that really edge up oh, the look. Okay. Never Let's tried this before. <laughs> it's cute, right? Don't yeah, I like it. It looks good. These, like, it, there we go. Simple. These are H and M accessories. Super affordable. Nothing here is. Expensive. I know. Aren't you going to H and M as soon as you get out of here? There we go. A bit more rock and roll there, and then the icing on the cake. A little clutch. Yay! Yay! I mean, it's transformation. Uh, I gotta tell you, Trish, I mean, you are now the dish. I mean, Barbie, <laughs> Barbie doesn't have to stay in her box. She can think outside the box. You're feeling it, aren't you? Aren't you feeling saucy? I am saucy? feeling it. I feel like a rocker chick. Like, <laughs> like, I yeah, like, girls, why don't you just stuff that extra stuff in one of your bags <laughs> okay. and take her out dressed up like this. Let, her, let a couple of guys get Show a good look off. of that. You're going to get a lot of Ken dolls, baby. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mixing